Many years ago, I had the opportunity to volunteer in building a 3D printed prosthetic hand for a child with hand deformity using an open source design. Witnessing the joy it brought was truly inspiring. However, as I continued volunteering, I encountered a significant challenge. Most existing prosthetic designs cater to users completely missing their hands or fingers, but not those with partial fingers. This often led to poor fitting and limited functionality for many users. After extensive interviews and design iterations, I'm excited to introduce Exodia, a modular gauntlet prosthetic designed for individuals with partial hand deformity. This design boasts three key features. First is the open palm design. This allows users' fingers to move freely, supported by a handle and a fabric-based sleeve. This adaptability accommodates various hand shapes without the need for a customized socket. Second is wrist actuated mechanism. A slight about 20 degrees rotation of the wrist activates a pulley mechanism creating translational motion that operates various end effectors through the belt system. Last one is swappable modules. Recognizing that users may need different functionalities for specific activities, we developed a swappable module system. Current prototypes require screws to secure the modules, but future designs will feature a quick release mechanism for easy swapping. Module examples include ball holders, grabbers, and mechanical finger modules. The next phase for the Exodia project focuses on enhancing adaptability and grip functionality. We aim to conduct user testing and advance toward research and commercialization. The demonstration shows how easy it is to grab things with a simple grabber and also how easy it is to swap between different modules such as robotic hands. In addition, the iterative design process is showcased. Currently in its ninth generation, this design has evolved through rapid prototyping and the integration of off-the-shelf components like Lego Technique as demonstrated in the video. As we continue to prioritize function and adaptability for various users, our journey towards revolutionizing body part prosthetics progresses.